Okay, so this video is a really quick and simple one. It's just basically stripping the rear brakes. Now the main thing here is I'm just going to identify all the parts, but if you're going to do the same thing, make sure you take photos along the way, because you don't want to get confused at which way the pads go or where the spring was. So it's always best to take pictures. So this is a very quick video, how to strip the brakes. So let's have a look at the brakes. This is obviously the rear brake. It's uh, been removed with the radius arm from the car. Um, the rear brakes have this single slave cylinder, which is double sided. Um, they have this adjuster at the top here, uh, which is a lot better than the front adjuster. Um, and then they have the two shoes and the springs between. And you've obviously got the handbrake mechanism down the bottom there. Um, if you're gonna work on minis, one of the key tools you'll need is a proper spanner to do these. And I hope you can see this. In fact, I'll zoom in. It has the right size square on it to undo the adjuster. Um, and that's the first thing I'm gonna do. To make anything easier on the brakes, undo the adjuster and take all the tension off the shoes. So turning that over, Move the camera down. There's the adjuster. There's the adjuster down there. We just need to unscrew that. Now I have sprayed quite a lot of fluid on it. Um, I'm actually going to renew all of my brakes, including the back plate, so I don't really need this. Um, I've got the whole kit. Now um, don't unscrew it all the way because it doesn't actually come out through the back. It comes out through the front. So that's the tension taken off them. Okay, so that's the uh, tension off the shoes removed and these are now loose in there. So the next thing to do is to remove the actual shoes and the way you do that is push them off the end and push them over the side. So I'm gonna try and do that. So there you go, and then just prise it. Oops, went back in. Try and get them there, that's on the first bit. And there you go. Once you've got one off that relieves the tension, the other one should be easy to take off. Then you can do the same at the bottom. Now I've got the handbrake mechanism as well, and a camera in the way. You may have to push these piston cylinders back in, by the way. There we go. So that's them taken off, but to actually remove them, you just need to pop the spring off. So I'm gonna do this top one up here with my dodgy screwdriver. There it is. So that is the shoes removed. Now I would advise you not to blow the dust around. It's not very good for you. So just keep everything still, don't think using a compressor to blow away the dust is a good thing, it's not. So now they're removed, um, you want to be careful that these two little adjusters don't fall out and you lose them, because they will now be loose. So it might be best to take that out now and put that to the side. Now those adjusters can actually get seized if anything gets rusted up, and that could be another problem. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the actual uh, turning adjuster does actually come through the front. So the tool that I have is very really useful because it obviously goes straight and then you can screw it in. as far as I can get it with a tool, but I can at least screw that out. So there you go, that's the uh, adjuster removed. So you can probably now also remove the handbrake mechanism. Uh, I don't know how that moves, does it come through the front or the back? I don't know. There you go, through the front, just pull this out. I've got new ones of those as well, so again, I'm not worried about that. And then the uh, slave cylinder on the back 
it's held in with that circlet. I'll just zoom in so you can see that. Hopefully you can make out that circlet there. Although that is quite rusty. Okay, so before I, I take the cylinder out, I have removed the uh, pipe. It's also worth noting that this uh, boot that goes over the handbrake mechanism is also fairly scrap as well. That's all perished. That only uh, pushes on those four tangs. So now we're ready to remove the cylinder. I don't know how easy this is to get off, and I do have a camera in the way, but you should be able to pull that off. Come on, there we go. And once that's off, you should be able to push it out. I don't know if I'm going to have to take the uh, bleed nipple out. Okay, the rust is actually holding it in place, so I just have to clean that up or give it a tap with a hammer. Do you know what? I think I'm going to take that bleed nipple out as well. Okay, so that's the bleed nipple out, and then we should be able to take that cylinder out now. There we go. Now I don't know if this cylinder is okay or not, but they're really not much money, so it's just worth replacing it. This car has been off the road for at least 16 years. Okay, so that is the rear brake assembly totally and utterly stripped. Now I've said along the way that I've ordered loads of replacement parts, and I have, in fact, I've gone the whole hog and just got it as a complete assembly. So what you get in this kit is you get the back plate, you get a new cylinder, um, sorry, slave cylinder, you get new shoes, new springs, new adjuster, new handbrake mechanism, new boot, in fact, new everything. The only thing I didn't get is the handbrake part, so I've got that as well. And as I've said, I've also got new handbrake cable and new flexes with new nuts because you have to make sure they come with the nuts which mine didn't so every single part on my rear brakes is going to be new so the actual video for rebuild is going to be fairly quick anyway thank you for watching and keep tuned for some more videos